Welcome back to Inside the Heat. Chris Bosh loves the game of basketball. He loves to be in rooms just like this with his teammates. But anytime he has the chance, he wants to be around his family. This summer was no exception. The Bosch World Tour continued on the southern tip of Africa. I teamed up with the NBA, and I, mean, I did the uh, Basketball Without Borders. We had went to India last year, and so this past summer, Ghana was on the list. You know, I was very excited because South Africa was a, a great place to see, and I wanted to uh, share that experience with my family. Growing the game, particularly in Africa, for an African-American, is there a, a draw for you? See poverty in its truest form that does something to you and it you know it, it made me realize how it has always made me realize how lucky we are here in the states and it's like man it gives you an appreciation and it makes you really want to give a lending hand and help out in some kind of way talk about the clinic and, and being with the kids and, and teaching basketball what's that exchange like they know who you are they're they're nba fans they love basketball they have dreams just like anybody else like we do and they want to be able to accomplish those dreams and they're so attentive and they just want to learn they want to play and they just want to have fun where were you where I saw all the beautiful pictures of the beach, then the pool, and then the more beach in the background? Oh, that was my day. What is that like? It, this looks miraculous. It's very tough getting there, because we had to, uh, and the kids were there. So we flew from Miami to Qatar, and we stayed in Qatar for a night. And then we flew out that morning and flew into Maldives, and then you have to take, like, a boat. It's thousands of islands in the Maldives, in which I didn't know. Luckily, ours was only, like, a 40-minute boat ride. Then it's good, then you can relax. But getting there was tough. Looked like it was well worth it once you got there. Yeah. It was good. Oh, no, it was beautiful. Oh my gosh, it was just like, it, it looks fake. Like I'm sure the pictures did. Except <laughs> you know, I knew you just, were there. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. He's just really looking there. like, man, look at this, the water's so blue. It's beautiful. Your South African safari, from the elephant rides to eating crocodile, to seeing lions. Is there a moment where you're like, okay, I need to get on the swivel. <laughs> this, is, this is wildlife. Uh, nah. I'm inside of a zoo. As soon as you land, it's just the airport. I see a bird I've never seen just fly. It's like, it was a pterodactyl, it, by the way. By, by the same size. <laughs> that's the first thing I see, so I'm like, wow, what is that? Then I'm like, then you feel like you're being watched. Right. And we get on the big cars. You go on the safari, we went twice a day. You see the animals, and it's like, wow, and they're all around you. Over here, for the first time, we just saw some hippos, which is really cool, because we haven't seen them since we've been here. Hippos are very dangerous. They have a lot of stamina, so they will chase you down. Have you seen your own footage back? Of course. Just the stuff that we captured to see, like, a lion just right there, just looking at you, and you looking at him, looking at you. Quite amazing. Cheers to everybody. Go do something, go have an adventure, go see the world. The last four years, your family has grown. Yes, Quite yes. so. You ever pinch yourself and go, man, look at this? Nah, my kids pinch me. Oh, a pillow fight. You have to learn patience. You have to give them what they want, but teach them discipline at the same time, even at a young age, and you kind of have to set the tone. But really, I mean, they're demanding. I mean, just like now, we're doing this now. When I go home, you know, if I want to take a nap, I got to sneak through the house, and sure enough, you turn the corner, you looking at him, my son will be looking at me with a basketball. You can't say no. Oh. They want to just have fun. Tell us about Adrian's hashtag Today I Can campaign. That's just who she is and a part of what she brings, and, you know, that's her spirit. She wants to, you know, motivate people. She wants to empower women. It's important that when you're sharing your energy that you're focusing on the positives. We could all focus on different things that aren't right, but what can we do to grow? What can we do to inspire others to do the same and know that they can do it? And it's really awesome, the feedback that I've been able to get. And hearing those words lets me know that it's awesome to celebrate yourself and celebrate those around you. And so you and Adrian and Team Bosch, connected to Team Tomorrow, have been so consistent. Why does that continue to be something that's important to you as you immerse yourself deeper inside being a true Miami citizen? My thought process was coming into a city, we want to be connected with the people, and we want to help the youth. You can only do that by being on the ground and doing these things. We just feel so thankful and so grateful to be 
able to share our time, to share our energy, whether it's care packages for soldiers or whether it's a special day for women. Whatever it is that we're doing, we're always just trying to make a difference. It does take consistency. It is hard work, but to have people come up and tell you they appreciate what you're doing, it goes a long way. Welcome back to Inside the Heat. We know that Chris Bosch has varied interests off the floor, but don't you love when he gets in front of a camera? Be it as an actor or an animated voice, Chris Bosch has a variety of ways to entertain us. I'm just gonna say it, you're a renaissance man. That's what you are. Thank you. One of those things that lead me to that particular definition is your love of acting. You know, is, there, is there something brewing? Is there something else coming down the avenue? There's always something. With you. <laughs> I just like being around it. I like doing it. Uh, it's funny, I have a, uh, I got a new uh, skit coming out. Uh, Tall Justice 2 is coming. With uh, me and Funny or Die, we filmed it right before I left. <laughs> Don't you miss it. <laughs> so it'll be a lot of fun. I think it's gonna be better than the first one. It's time to call him the tow truck. He's messed with the wrong meter maid. Tall Justice. One of the great Chris Flash characters. <laughs> Do not miss it. Hail Odin's son. I've been sitting in booths by myself for two and a half decades talking into a microphone, trying to breathe life into things. And animation is something else. Yeah. Because you're trying to come out of your skin, right? I mean, you're, you're, you're trying to... It's not hard coming out of my skin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I jump out of my skin you... quite fast. Yeah. But just, it's, it's easy because you can see the cartoon, and then you play with the voices. Yeah, yeah. It's your ability to see everything. Yeah. It's pretty handy. As is your ability to smash everything you see. I sound like myself, but I want to know if somebody would know that's me. Without knowing. Without yeah, yeah. Without, well, yeah. <laughs> Could they, like, that sounds just <laughs> like you. For Asgard! You also uh, filmed a PSA with the NBA last year, the, the Dream Big commercial during yeah. Black History Month. Mm -hmm. Your whole family at home involved in, in all of that. Uh, how awesome was that experience for you? It was great. I mean, um, you know, just for my family to kind of hang out, uh, my children used it as an opportunity uh, to make cupcakes. My daughter, cupcakes, that's her thing. That's when my daughter was like... And you love me? I love you. More than cupcakes? Way more than cupcakes. <laughs> Way more than cupcakes. The barometer, though. Me, we're cupcakes. Yeah. Just, just, put me, just put me on the even yeah, plane, baby. As long as, I can, as long as I'm close, I'll deal with that. You have to um, clarify a scenario. Matthew McConaughey understands how it is to be me yeah. now uh, because there was <laughs> a, a, a photo bosh, as we like to call them, or video bosh, but this was a still photo, I believe. Uh, was that on purpose or were, was that like a Sasquatchian moment where you just were yeah, walking? Yeah, pretty much. I'm just walking and I'm like, oh, it's Matthew McConaughey. What is he doing here? And kept walking. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all that was. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute, did you really say, what is he doing here? Yeah, well, I forgot he was on True Detective. I totally forgot. NBA All-Star, three-time champion. I'm at the Emmys asking why this guy's here. <laughs> right. He should be looking at me like, what are you doing? <laughs> he promised it was going to happen. Video bomb came. I don't see nothing. Chris Bond. I don't see nothing. What's the future hold for the video bar? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I mean, um... You may be the subject of more interviews, which kind of jacks up your whole scenario. The only reason I did was to make people laugh, yeah. you know, to have a good time. And I think um, just kind of that spontaneous thought, kind of people pick up on it and kind of enjoy it. Even Matthew McConaughey. Bosh for three in the win! In the last four years, with the Miami Heat, everything that you've been through, what have you learned most about Chris Bosh? What I've learned most about myself, I would say, is just uh, my patience. You know, when we first got here, we weren't the most popular guys on the block. And uh, the target, for some reason, it was they were on me. And I came here to win basketball games, and, you know, that's all I really cared about. You know, you want people to like you, and you want to have um, a good time. I don't care if people like me anymore. You just either accept me or you don't. And um, I've learned that about myself a lot as well, too. But I mean, um, these four years, 
Not only was it a learning experience as far as a professional, but a professional off the court, and really just a family man, and I mean, just as a man. There have been a lot of curveballs that life throws at you, but you know, you just have to respond. You just have to move on and keep on trucking. When Chris Boss decided in the summer of 2014 to sign up to be a Heat lifer, he ensured for you, the Heat fans, that there were more exhilarating game-winning shots, historical rebounds, and maybe another video Bosch or two still to come for many years ahead. Thank you so very much for watching this edition of Inside the Heat. I am Jason Jackson. Turn around, fade away, got it! Oh, big shot by Bosch!